What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the server shenanigans, so today we are on simplicity, don't mind the lag, I'm doing something real quick, should end in a second. Uh, so yeah, it's actually been a very long time since I've played a server like this, a server that has, um, as you can see, like this dude right here who has Virtus and whatnot. Uh, I haven't really played any servers like this, and since I've been back on RS3, it's kind of it's kind of good to see these again. Um, it does have Dungeoneering, I believe, there's there, so I definitely want to check that out first. Um, let's take a look at everything at the home location real quick. We'll take a look at, you know, all the interesting things. We always do spend about two, three minutes doing that. And then we'll, we'll focus on, uh, if this is, if this is construction, we'll definitely want to take a look at that. All right. So let's take a look. Man, Darth, what are you doing over here? Let's get her run back on. Uh, PK point store. Oh, nice. So there's the, uh, there's the Rhino Cape. Old school recently is coming out with like their own version of this. And I kind of wish they would have just done the Rhino Cape. I think a lot of people liked it. I think it was always a popular one. Um, Dragon Warhammer, that's interesting. So they do have, like, old school, new, new stuff that's on old school. I don't even know how you call it, what you'd call that shit. That's cool. Um, Explorer Jack, what is this? Is this, uh... Oh, it just sells some interesting things. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that those options would be different. Uh, Zeke, we probably don't need to look at these too much. These are probably all generic... You know, you've you've seen shops nowadays. I feel like I don't need to show those anymore. Uh, got your thieving right there. I actually did a little bit of thieving earlier. Not much. Just 34. Um, expert miner. Oh, Stardust. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. Okay, Fire Altar. That's an interesting spot. I know that that was pretty big on ICOF. Uh, gloves that way. Might have to do that, definitely. Anything in here? Just a general store. I'm guessing it's about well, people sound stuff to it, so that's interesting. Seems like there's a lot of food in there. Is fishing like a good money making method on here? Hmm. Let's take a look at this dude and see if this was construction. I think it is, yeah, cool. If you're construction area map out, just teleport home. Alright, cool. So like we're gonna need some money for this. Let me find a way to get money. Is this your price checker? Oh no, I thought that that was gonna like do something with the money pouch. Because apparently there is a money pouch. Okay, that's cool. What about Dungeoneering? How do we do that? Is this one of those servers where you can click your um, skill and then you go to it? I think it is. Ooh, okay, cool. Ooh, do I, can I just solo? Floor 1, Sad Books Party. I'm forever alone. Uh, can I climb down? It doesn't seem like I can get over there. Do I have to talk to this dude? Yeah, yeah, okay. Start Dungeoneering. Okay, cool. Trip down tree, trade smuggler. Did we get anything? Oh yeah, we got we got forty five. All right, cool. Let's actually like just do a little bit of this real quick. We'll just we'll take a look at this. I don't have any stats. <laughs> I didn't train combat. Um, let's buy this. Uh, I don't have food either, so we're gonna we're gonna buy like. I don't have enough coins to buy that. Do they have to be? Um, okay, maybe I can't buy things from the shop? I can't add that money to my pouch, can I? Huh. Okay, well, if you know anything about that, let me know. Maybe this money isn't used for that. Maybe I'm supposed to do other things. Well, see, no, because I have to get a hatchet, don't I? Use portal. Oh, no, shit, there's some stuff that's about to beat me up. Yeah, this isn't going to go well with level 3 stats. <laughs> Alright, I might just leave this one, go train up a little bit, and then come back. So, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Alright, so I was doing a little bit of Slayer. You can see, got a couple stats. I'm still going to go for a little bit higher before I, I do Dungeoneering, but I figured I'd show you the teleports. Uh, so, it's pretty nice looking. You got everything here. My current Slayer task is ghouls, so that's what we'll be doing. Um, mini games, anything crazy? Rescue of Disaster, No Man's Requiem, Treasure Island, Zombie mini game. Those are all interesting. Rescue of Disaster, we've seen that before. Nomad's Equi Requiem. I'm assuming you just kill Nomad and get those capes. Treasure Island and Zombie Minigame. We'll have to check those out. Bosses. Fresh Dragons there. Bork. Lizard Shaman. Okay. We, we, we saw the Dragon Warhammer earlier. Dungeons. Okay, so this is kind of like monsters. Alright, so cool. Yeah, I figured I'd just share that off. Uh, so I'll get my stats up a little bit. Killing uh, my, my Slayer task. And then I'll... Uh, either do Dungeoneering or check out one of those two things. Uh, we'll check out Treasure Island first, just because that sounds really unique, so we'll check that out. 
Okay, so I just saw something interesting. If I can get these messages away, uh, this dude just achieved one billion range experience. His name is kind of odd, so I don't know if I should believe this or not, but one billion experience, that's cool. So you can, like, if you really want to grind, this seems like a server for you. Jeez. One billion. Experience rates don't seem too bad, but they definitely don't seem that fast, so that seems like that's quite an accomplishment. If it is real, because the name, I'd, I'd swear. Nice, so I was killing these ghouls, and I just got a casket. I'm assuming it gives cash? No, okay. Cool, ran ours. Um, we got 70, 75, 72, so I think that's good enough to get started. Um, let me get back in that dungeon. We'll take a look around, and then we'll take a look at that treasure island. All right, let's head back there. Form party, and then we talk to him again. Let me check a look at that store again there real, real, real quick. Oh, okay, so then this is just how you buy stuff. I'm assuming like 200k tokens, yeah. Cool, ooh, there's even Primal in here. That's awesome. I've always liked the way the Primal 2-hander looked. Primal 2-hander is like one of the coolest looking items in the world. Alright, let's get started. Um, now, we still have the 45k. Can we do anything with that now? Or is that still... Don't have enough coins. Alright, that's a sh I don't know if the coins don't work, or if... Uh, if it's like uh, higher prices, I don't know. Let's uh, let's punch some stuff. Maybe if, if you guys know what I'm doing wrong, let me know. Oh, these are these are not that hard to kill, so we can just punch them. I wonder if it's gonna drop anything. This is interesting. I don't think I've seen this before on a server. I'm not trying to claim that this is like the only server that has it. I, I really honestly don't know. It's just the first time I've ever seen it. Didn't drop anything. That's unfortunate. So like after I kill these, do I like? Go to the next one? We'll have to take a look. Oh, we did get some money. We got like 4k. I, I think this one would take me take me back, I'm assuming. I'll right, kill this one, and then I'll try going through that portal and see what happens. And then if nothing happens, I'll go through that one. We'll see. Is there any, like... No, okay. I keep wanting to click this, thinking it's going to give me something. Cash? No, okay. Can we go back? Okay, we can. Now, now it should have... I should have at least 4k, I'm guessing. That's really, really odd that it does that. And I've logged out since then. I can't even add this money to my coin pouch. I do have 999 coins in there already. Is there anything that's, like, super cheap? No. Can I, like, withdraw money from this? Let's try five. Huh. Okay, so I think it's, like... It's not wanting to use this ID. They haven't, like... Fix that. That's my guess, but we should be able to chop this, get some real money. So I wonder if you can keep your money out. I don't. Okay, I'm very curious as to what's gonna happen with that. Can I like sell this? I can. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna. Uh, does that thing grow back? I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and see if that grows back. That is a really annoying. <laughs> oh wait. You know. No. Never mind. I can just withdraw coins. Okay. Cool. So you can technically just bring in your own money. You don't have to worry about any of this. I wonder if that's maybe what you're supposed to do and they just haven't like updated what you're like haven't updated telling you. Alright, so now we got this. That's cool. Although I'm pretty sure if we get any money drops they're gonna be in this type of cash. So that's gonna be kind of unfortunate. But Alright, let me just keep killing them and then I'll show you the end or if there's a boss or something. Whoa, okay, I'm guessing this is the boss. Gave us a prayer point, but I don't have, I mean a prayer pot, but I don't have any prayer so this is gonna go bad uh the gate stone does work pretty nicely um i'll show that in a sec because it definitely looks like we're dying let's kill this real quick if we can oh headshot nice um i wonder if i can sell the peapot or the blood rings i got let's check sad bug's dad huh that's funny this is kind of cool if you can like bring other people and i don't have any friends so i can't <laughs> i can't determine if that's true or not i don't even have like I don't have, like, cooking level or anything like that, so I don't even know if it's worth it to... No, you can't. Okay. Um, yeah, let me show you the gates, though. Yeah, see you right back here. Is there another prayer pot right there? I'm gonna loot that. Alright, cool. So, uh, it doesn't regain health, it doesn't look like, so... Just, uh, keep killing it, and I'll show you when it's about to die. Okay, I've died, like, one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, 
eight. Eight times this this uh, floor, but it looks like we we might we might be good here. Oh, it's like one health. Come on. I wonder how you get better weapons. Can you like does this thing drop them? Fractite plate spirit. Could I buy that? You can. Cool. So now I have that. Uh, I'm assuming this ladder. Oh no. Or yeah. Okay. Now that um, I guess that's how you do it. Ah, right, cool. Not bad. So we got some experience and uh, 2,300 tokens. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I think once they fix that coin thing, or if they add better things to shop, that'll help. But that's uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, let's check out that uh, treasure island thing now. We'll see what this is about. Oh, okay. This kind of reminds me of. Uh... Oh, okay. So this is this is kind of like the, the what is it? What were they called? Quattro keys? Quattro chest or whatever? So, yeah, okay, so then there's four things over here. Uh, you kill them, you get a key, and then you open up the thing. Now, this uh, might take a while, so I'm not going to do it. Let's just let's just do something else. That's cool. But, yeah, there's four of these dudes, one on each side. You kill them all, you get a key, and you open it up. I don't think it's guaranteed to get a key. If it was guaranteed, I would probably do it at least once. But um, what was the other one we wanted to kind of check out? The zombie minigame. Let's just see what the rewards are from this. I'm assuming it's pretty straightforward. You get a bunch of, you know... Just kill a bunch of zombies and oh wow you can get some interesting things from this you can get a Zen a Zaya bow 2800 fragments all right um do I wonder if you need like you you have your own gear for this I'm guessing you do you keep your items yeah okay I just want to see like how common like, I I'm gonna be punching these let's use our uh, nice powerful quick prayers yeah look at that uh, we might be able to punch one quickly is it like one fragment per kill, and then, like, as they get harder, they give more? I'm guessing that's what it's like, so... Alright, that's cool. And you saw with the Zerai Bow, it's probably the, the, the better thing, because there wasn't AGS, it was just SGS. Although SGS was pretty good. I don't know, like, how it compared, you know, how it works on this server, but... Definitely doesn't seem bad, I'd probably go for it. There we do. Got one. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, I assume we keep killing them. We get more, maybe, like, more spawn. I, I imagine, like, Barrage or something multi would probably be, uh, would be, like, the better item to get. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any, like, suggestions or anything you want to see, if you want me to actually do some of that, uh, let me get out of here quickly. No. No. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, if you want to see me do some of that, that uh, Treasure Island stuff or whatever, let me know.